it's been great with these last seven years of being natural, but it's time to let it go. Per mommies, the summer's getting hot. It's time to pop out, cause we ain't got time to do our hair. All right, how do y'all about to do the process? But I think I'm just use this time to explain myself. Cause by the time you watch this, the deed will have already been done. Be real, be real. If I look like whitish, well, like a white tint, it's because I decided to try this new sunscreen and one thing you don't want to do is scratch your scalp right before it. I remember that from young. Like before we even get to all that, I think it's only reasonable that we do like a length check for the last time. So before I had the um, braids in, I trimmed my ends so those do not need to be trimmed. And then the one that is really the prize winner. <laughs> nah, I'm funny. Don't you hate like when people are doing this and they like this, like not straighten your neck so you can see the rear rear thing. So this is my, I think it's only fair that I just do this. Gotta suck my stomach again. <laughs> oh, I'm funny, I'm funny for real, for real. So this is where it's at, um, just for speaking purposes. So I'm gonna just scratch my hair and just tell y'all why I'm doing what I'm doing. So boom, right? Started a new job, moved to a new city. And it's like, I kind of reached my hair goal. Like the goal was, you know, basically, essentially fake, well, waist length. I feel like I'm close enough. I feel like I did what I had to do and I, got the results I wanted. I just wanted to know that I can do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like just, it just, you know, just want to know if you can do it. You know, I hope I don't look so crazy. I hope I look decent because I'm tired of looking crazy in all my videos, but y'all get it. Y'all get it. If you want to see me looking good, add me on Instagram, S-I-N. Well, I'm going to put it right here. But I just feel like since I started, I moved to a new city. Um, Started a new job, no longer work at Amazon. We thank God, we thank God. Ugh, that place helped me develop my character, but I had enough, had enough character development. And so I was just like, I just wanna do something different with my hair. Like, I'm just tired of it. Like, I'm being natural is not easy. Like, some people make it look easy. I feel like I definitely learned my hair to the point where I know how to wash my hair and deep condition and do all that in like an hour and 45 minutes and do all that in a re like relatively short amount of time. So um, I just felt like I learned my hair. I know how to do it now. I reached my goal, but now I don't want to deal with my hair anymore. Like having kinky hair, look at that. Having kinky hair is like, it's not for the week. Like, as <laughs> I'm about to pull out the black card here, so if you are in black, don't feel offended. But as black, especially black women, I feel like we got it hard. Like, one, in this society where being black is problematic, but it is becoming better. And then the hair alone, come on, man, can we get a break? Like, I'm tired of dealing with 4C hair. Like, <laughs> it's been real. It's been real. That December 2013, I did a um. I wanted to do um, what's this thing? Bantu knots. So that's what I did. I did bantu knots and I used gel. I guess this is my wild went natural story, right? <laughs> I did bantu knots and. I use gel so that it could be, it could hold extra, extra. And at that point, I was, of course, perming my hair at least once a month. I redid it, and for some reason, I didn't do it correctly, and my hair was so crispy. 
no like my hair was so crispy and dry it literally started breaking off like because i used a gel and then i didn't you know i didn't know how to take care of my hair back then with perm so it's like me going back to perm i don't know how i'll be able to take care of my hair but that doesn't matter i guess so my hair started um my hair literally broke off so i was like forget that i'm gonna go natural so january 2014 i cut all my hair like i cut it it was probably like three inches three to five inches remaining like i cut it like up to the new growth and i did that and of course i did my own hair so nobody knew that i did that because i never wore my hair out anyways other than it being perm i always just wore braids and stuff like that so nobody knew so I went natural, essentially the beginning of 2014. My hair grew so fast. Like when you cut your hair, it goes by back so much faster than when your hair is longer. Like when I first cut my hair at that time, it, the hair grew, to me it felt like it just grew back so fast. But then at some point it just wasn't growing back, growing as fast anymore. I don't know what was going on, but it just wasn't. And, you know, I went to college, blah, blah, blah. I was natural in college. Graduated in 2019. Then I grew up with my age old. Grew up with my age old. To graduate in 2019. And that's when I would say, like, I really started taking care of my hair. Like, when I started working at Amazon. That's when I really started taking care of my natural hair. Because when I started working at Amazon, I wasn't doing it. I would just moisturize it and do nothing with it. Because I didn't have time for that. Like, I was so tired from work all the time. So I didn't do much with it. So that was that. And now after seven years of being, come on for seven years, I should be way past this by now. But to be fair, we'll just start from 2019, 2020, 2021, 2020. Technically three years of actually taking care of my natural hair. And the other five were just braiding it because I didn't know what to do with it. And... After seven years of being natural, I'm done for now. Like, I'm done for now. But All right, so I came to my senses, and I hope two would do the job, because if two can't do the job, then ain't no job to get done at this point. this on my edges it says put it over your scalp if um you know this edges don't get a lot period my hair is so dry right now I'm not even gonna hold you I thought it was moisturized but I guess not <laughs> So if my hair fall out, just know. I tried, I tried, I tried. I feel like in this lighting, you could definitely see how ashy I look, but it is what it is. I actually never permed my hair before. That's the crazy part, like doing it myself. My sister always did it, but I felt like she was a bit aggressive, so I'm just gonna do it myself. <laughs> Grab 
April 21st, 6.58 p.m. I'm perming my hair. I'm not doing the roots just yet. But that part is... <laughs> that's the one I can let it burn. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, not my eye. Washing my hair, so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Not to see, it's not that long. Not to see anything. So I feel like the front of my hair is like <laughs> it's giving thin. It's giving thin, but. What can I do now? Like, but the front of my hair, man. I'm going to um, straighten it tomorrow so I can get like that final stretch. But I mean, it's already perm. Like, what else stretching you want? <laughs> 